Good morning, clan, and welcome to day 1050. We are starting our day off with a little plumbing action. I'll just show you the aftermath here real quick. I've completely ripped out my faucet. Look at that, Mr. Handyman. <laughs> what? Say it. Calling yourself Mr. Handyman. No, I'm not. It's a joke. I'm not Mr. Handyman. Well, we were getting ready to call a handyman because the garbage disposal has been leaking. And uh, I said, before we call, let me just take a look at it. Let me actually take a real look at it. And sure enough, it just looked like the ring was loose. So I just tightened the ring and it hasn't been leaking yet. But while I was under there, the faucet was leaking and Tiffany made the mistake of sticking her hand up on the top of that and like came down with all this black like moldy mildew stuff. And so it was like, the faucet's been leaking off and on for about a year now, maybe more. And come to find out, the reason why is because this piece right here rusted off. Right, see that screw there? That screw is supposed to be over there. It rusted off. I started unscrewing it and it broke off. That's why this side's been leaking. It would start leaking, we're like, oh, we need to replace it, and then it would stop leaking. It's like, oh, I guess we don't need to replace it. And then like a few months later, it would start leaking again, off and on, and so, time's up, time for a new faucet. I think I've said this before to you guys, I, am, I do not pride myself as like, oh, I can do that, I, I know what I'm doing, because I don't. I will take a look at it, I'll take a stab at it, but the moment I feel like this is way above my head, I have no problem backing off and say, I will pay you to do it, sir, because you are an expert. I am no expert at faucets, sinks, handyman. So there's stuff around the house that needs to be done that's been broken for years because I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't even want to attempt it. So we, need, we do need to find a good handyman, that's for sure. And now it's time for lunch with mom. So we are here at Pita Jungle, one of my favorite restaurants in town. I'm having lunch with my mom. Hi mom. And check out the food that just got delivered. This is a spicy chicken wrap. It is huge, like there's my fist. Look at the size of this. <laughs> It's humongous. And a uh, grilled chicken salad, which looks amazing. Like, that kind of presentation, I don't even want to break into it. It's, uh, it's too pretty. And what'd you get? Uh, I got the jerk chicken wrap, sriracha. Yeah, we're eating good, we're eating good. Huh, all right, so, I'm stuffed. I love Pita Jungle, so good, so good. Uh, but we're here at Lowe's because we need a new kitchen faucet. And now Tiffany has the fun task of choosing a new faucet. Yay! So many different ones to choose from. We basically had this style, right? Where you just have the this thing here. So I think that's what we're gonna get, but there's just so many to choose from. Like, they've got these ones here where you can like pull out the, pull it out, which I always see that one you can't, but yeah, right there, see, you can kind of pull it out, so that's kind of cool. You have fun with that. Any, many, many, many. Once again, in the neighborhood of Dutch Brothers, this time over on Thunderbird, and it's super busy. Surprise doesn't get this busy. This one's always, I think this is the busiest one in the state of Arizona. No different. It's always like this. It's always like this. Kids are back from school. You wanna show them what you got? Mm -hmm. Valentine's? Ooh. So, this girl in my class was giving out the animals. And um, each one got a paper. And like I um, and like a lot of people in my class were like trading and trading their stuffed animals because like, they didn't like the one they got. But I didn't trade mine because each paper says something. Mine says, "Hello, my name is Flippy. I'm smart just like you. I'm a bit shy, but I'm friendly to everyone." So like she gave this one to me because she thought that I was smart and friendly, like the um, paper said. Cause so I didn't want to trade it because each paper was different. Hey, hey, what'd you get? It's a bunch of candy. And my teacher gave us a bag. It wasn't this one. It was this one. Wait a oh, the bag that my teacher gave me is all the way at the bottom. <laughs> my friend gave me this. Let's dump it out. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, that was fun. And I got sun tattoos. And this is our jugs that my class you decorated. decorated. Yeah, this is like the colorful side with my name. Cute. And this is the Valentine's side. So yesterday we went to Best Buy and picked up a new camera for Tiffany. This is the uh, PowerShot Elf 340 HS. My old camera was the 330 HS. And the biggest difference for this, it's a 12X zoom and it shoots 30 frames per second. So now, Tiffany has a camera that matches the frame rate of my new camera. So that way when we separate, because we do separate pretty often, uh, she has a camera that will, uh, the frame, the, 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 the clips will match up. There won't be a dramatic change because 
Her old camera, the one that she's retiring now, um, the S110, this shoots 24 frames per second, which is what my 330 shot. And so that footage looked the same. And so yes, and I now have, I don't know, this is like my 10th camera in the last like two years, three years. So it'll be interesting to uh, see the difference between the G7X, which is what I'm shooting right now, and the new, this new little PowerShot 340, which I'm gonna switch to right now. All right, so now I'm shooting with the ALF 340HS. I'm sure it looks dramatically different because the biggest thing is the G7X, it's more than just, there's, like, there's so much more to it. Like the lens is huge, it brings in so much more light. Um, yeah, so I don't know, Tiff, we're gonna shoot with this camera and if it totally sucks, then we might have to buy another $700 camera for you. So Sierra and I are out and about because we had a little accident. We were doing our nails, all pretty. And Sierra was taking off her nail polish on the brand new kitchen table and it took the, the finish right off. So I'll show you guys when we get home. But So we went out to Michael's to get one of these little stain pins and we're gonna hope that it at least makes it look not so obvious. Yeah. So the hard part was just picking out the right color because I'm going off of the picture and then like the lighting's different and stuff. So we grabbed one, we'll see if it works when we get home. But while we were out, Sia got a good idea because volleyball um, was canceled tonight, so. I thought that since tomorrow's Valentine's Day, then we can make some like Valentine's cookies, brownies, cupcakes. Ooh, I just thought of something though. What? We don't have a sink that's working. Ooh. So if we bake, we're gonna have dirty dishes and that's not gonna work out. Bummer. Now what? I don't know, there's nothing. Find <laughs> Oh! Did you see her? She was like... Jumped over the stick? She didn't jump over it. I was like this. Bring it here, baby. Bring it here. I was like this and then... Good girl. Then drop it. Jump. You gotta drop it, silly goose. Park time with baby. I said last week, guys, I'm gonna try and do this, you know, every couple times a week. And uh, because of playlist, it's been over a week since we've taken her to the park. And so, you know, it's kind of one of those things I feel like a little guilty. Plus, the weather is amazing here in Arizona, so why not? You ready? Go get it. Good girl. Bring it back. <laughs> she does love playing catch, don't you? Don't you? Ready? Oh, oh, flip. I need a tennis ball though. This thing does not work very good. Yeah. Yeah, this thing doesn't work too good. It's okay, but we need a tennis ball. Are right, you ready? You ready? Baby. <laughs> you loving that, huh? You loving that? <laughs> she just squished it. Yeah, it's squishy. It's a squishy one. And now it's time for Bryce's basketball practice. The seats aren't here anymore. No like seats you? to sit. All right, so there it is. Oopsies. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, why is it white? Does it like it'll come out? Did we pick the right color? It's hard to say. <laughs> it's like a marker, marker, like an actual marker. It's not. Look, it doesn't look like wood. <laughs> I think wipe off the extra though. Oh, now the marker's like dark brown. <laughs> that looks better, yeah. All right, so that's after. Definitely not perfect. Problem kind of solved. Just move the table around, right? The spot where everybody sees. It's all gone, see? Yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect now, right? Yeah, see, we, we fixed it. So we just kind of hit it in that corner. Yeah. Where the light's not shining on it. So moving on now. We bought... Cookies. Cookies. And some chocolate chips, some pink chocolate chips we're gonna add to them to kind of make them valentines -y. Valentine's I don't think that's a word. Since I have no sink, we have to do the pre-made ones. So we found these chocolate chips. They're actually like Easter springtime chocolate chips. So Sierra is gonna pick out, we're not gonna use the yellow for sure. But we're gonna pick out the pink ones and use mostly pink ones, maybe add some more chocolate chips. We already have the, oh wait, no. I thought we got the triple one. Mm -mm. We actually just got those. Just say pink ones, I'll add some more chocolatey ones. 
These guys are just sitting down in a quiet area. So guys, Tiffany just told me that um, she was looking at the clips from the camera that she shot today with the, with the cookies and with the fixing the table and whatnot. And obviously you just saw all that footage. It looks horrible. When she's outside, it's fine. But the moment she comes inside, the low light on that camera is horrific. I just looked at the specs. It, it is a bigger f-stop or, or, or a smaller aperture than um, even my 330 was. And her other camera, her 110, has a, two, has a much bigger aperture. It's closer to this camera. And so this actually technically looks better in low light. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the frame rate's wrong. Um, so it looks like that I either need to buy the next version of this, which is the S120, or buy another one of these, which I'd like to buy another one of these. I really would. This camera's amazing. And you know, I just, just get two of them and, and the footage matches and it's always awesome. But it's $700. Oh. I don't know if I can afford another $700 camera in the same week, let alone the same month. So I don't know, we gotta, we gotta talk and discuss and figure out what we're gonna do. Something I forgot to tell you guys earlier, uh, when Tiff and I were at Lowe's, uh, this is the faucet that she ended up going with. It's pretty simple, small upgrade because the, uh, the part comes out, like what's that called, the nozzle? The nozzle is detachable and stretches out, so it's an upgrade. I just haven't had a chance to uh, install it yet, so there's there's the old one still. So um, that's a weekend project for me. Yay. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned. We have an action-packed weekend starting tomorrow. Uh, we're going to head out to Lake Pleasant and hang out with me, Mom, Papa at, uh, in their trailer and uh, have some fun in the sun, probably do some swimming because the pool is heated. And then Sunday, cross our fingers, as of right now, we're talking about going dirt bike riding, so you don't want to miss that. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog on! All right guys, time to choose your next adventure. One year ago, uh, I get a mole removed in the back on my back because uh, it had precancerous cells, and so a little graphic, kind of cool though if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, I do do a disclaimer in the beginning, but I'm telling you now, if you want to watch something kind of interesting, slightly gross, check that out. Kids also make some uh, crafty Valentine's Day cards. Two years ago, uh, all kinds of stuff, we go to the mall, uh, we actually go to Home Depot and I'm looking at kitchen faucets, of, of all things. How interesting is that? Two years ago, it was leaking. Uh, well not, it, it, it stopped leaking, but like I said, it was on and on, on and off, on and off, on and off. But anyways, I was looking at faucets two years ago, so that just tells you how long it's been <laughs> bad. Um, so check those out. Annotations are clickable. Links in the description down below. Be sure to follow me on your face favorite social network. Twitter, Snapchat, Vine, Instagram. I am Clintus on all of them. Follow me up. Interact with me. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.